Michael from Main Engine Start. Fifteen years ago, on February 1st, 2003, at 8.59 a.m., Space Shuttle Columbia's radio went dead. The shuttle was to land at 9.15 a.m. at the Kennedy Space Center. Pilot of the Columbia was Commander Willie McCool, United States Naval Academy, class of 1983. That morning, Commander McCool awoke to John Lennon's Imagine, played by the Space Center. Commander McCool was a three-year varsity letter winner and captain of the 1982 cross-country team. Willie was extremely popular among the brigade of midshipmen, his teammates, and classmates. He graduated second in his class. After two years, the groundswell among his coach, classmates, teammates, and the national cross-country community grew for a monument to honor Commander McCool. Legions of runners who competed on the Annapolis cross-country course felt that a marker should be placed there. The most poignant area came from another Naval Academy grad, Commander Ronnie Harris, class of 1987, and 1996 U.S. Olympic team member. Commander Harris's idea was to take Willie's fastest time on Navy's course and pinpoint where he would have been 16 minutes from the finish line to mirror Columbia's timeline on February 1st. At the base of the marker are seven gold stars commemorating the seven fallen astronauts. On one side of the granite marker are Willie's words that morning. The reverse side it reads, 16 minutes from home.